Hey guys, Jedi Dog here. This is my long-awaited Jungle Mundo video. I'm doing this one with commentary instead of music in response to feedback so that it can be viewed in all countries. Um, my Jungle Mundo clears the jungle in about 3 minutes 15 seconds, and that's to level 3 where you can either do blue buff and go back or do red buff and go gank. Um, for runes, I like uh, attack speed marks, flat HP quints, armor seals, and then glyphs of choice. I use magic resist per level. Uh, your masteries are going to be 1, 21, 8, making sure to take improved smite and the experience in the utility tree. Minions have spawned. So in this video I'm just going to cover the route through the jungle and the skill order and your starting items and stuff. Um, then I'll post a follow up video to this one with tips on sustaining and uh, ganking and stuff like that. Um, so basically you start with E, cloth armor, five pots, uh, have someone pull the golems if you can. It's not necessary though, you can do the entire route just fine without having the golems pulled. Um, basically as soon as the guy that pulls them is out of range, smite one, kill it as quickly as possible, and then you're going to be using your E every time it's up to maximize your damage. Um, next points in W, go to the wraiths. Uh, notice how I have not po uh, used any of my health pots yet. Don't use your health pots until after the wraiths because that way you maximize damage on your E by having missing HP. So turn on W and E, kill the blue wraith as quickly as possible, then let your W kill all the other ones. Um, and then at this point, I pop all five pots. You only need three to make it through the jungle. So if you're going to do blue and then go back after wolves, uh, only pop three pots. Or if you want to, you can pop all five and just forget about it. It's uh, convenient like that. Um, so then use E and W to kill all the wolves. Um, you can probably turn your W off after the big one dies or uh, use it however you want. Um, next point's in Q, so at this point you have all three of your basic skills. Um, and if you popped all three health pots, you don't, you don't have to worry about popping them, you won't forget them. It's, it's really convenient that you can just do them all at once now. Um, basically, you're going to want to use your cleavers before you smite, because cleavers do more damage to targets with more HP. So use your cleavers, use your E, uh, don't use your W, you'll probably run out of health too quickly, and it doesn't really do that much additional damage. Uh, smite, kill the red buff kill the little ones, use your E. I wouldn't waste cleavers on them because they don't have very high HP. Um, and then your pots will heal you up and you'll be able to gank um, either mid or bottom if you're on this side, the blue side. Um, or you can just wait in the bush for a minute and regen some HP. So that's the jungle run. Uh, watch for the follow-up video that shows tips on ganking and sustaining. Thanks for watching, guys.